Okay, hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect pretty much any transmitter that you can think of to any simulator via basically any drone that can run Beta Flight 3.4 and above, because that's when they introduce the same. So, first thing you need to do is launch the configurator and connect it to your drone. Then, open the CLI tab, which you might need to have expert mode on. I don't think you do. Let me turn it off and see. Yeah, no, you don't. CLI mode. And then you can just, if you don't know the name of the parameter, you can't remember it, just type get USB and that will predict to you what you wanted, which is USB hid CDC, space, and then just press enter. And you'll see if CDC is on, then you don't need to do anything. But if we then type set that same parameter equals, the autocorrect shows you can either have it off or on. So we press on and then we just type save. And it will disconnect you right to the drone and then you if you've got auto connect enabled it would have reconnected you when it reboots and in that case you just need to disconnect and then i come down to steam and i'm going to launch orca fpv skydive because of the simulators that i have it's both free and launches very fast and then i can go into settings calibrate joystick and it should have mine i've already pre-calibrated -cali it but all you need to do is click this in this one specifically, you just need to click this until it finds the right input that matches what you're doing and you, you're good to go. So I've done that for these. Um, it's different in different ones, but they should all pick up in the same way. So then I just go to fly, construction, because I like the construction map. And then freestyle. And we're away. I'm flying. And I'm using the, I'm using a tiny hawk and all I've got is the Tiny Hawk plugged in by USB and this would work no matter what transmitter I was using as long as the Tiny Hawk is receiving the right um, you know the right inputs it will pick it up and there you go that's pretty much it and you can basically buy any ready to fly beta flight bundle flash it to 3.4 and above and you're golden good to go so yeah Hope you learned something from this, or I hope it was useful, and thanks for watching. Cheers.